Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you've all had happy holidays and a wonderful Christmas and are looking forward to the new year as much as I am. So, quick one today, W220 throttle pedal issue. So this is an extremely common issue on the W220 platform, so much so that I've done it on two and I've only owned two. So, the symptoms can range from when you're pulling off you put your foot on the throttle as you normally do and you get a surging jerking motion and it feels like the ESP or ASR is kicking in but it's not it's the pedal signal dropping in and out you can get lazy throttle response so you stamp on the pedal and it doesn't do anything it doesn't kick down it just lazily picks up the RPM and then you can get the more serious symptoms like I got which was you're driving along the car loses throttle signal doesn't know what the position is so the engine drops back to idle and you put your foot on the pedal and no matter what it will not pick up the revs like i say this is a really common issue i'm going to show you how you can fix it yourself i'm going to keep this intro nice and quick and we'll get into it and i'll explain some things along the way right guys so this is going to be a bit interesting and cozy so I'm hoping the microphone's not going to clip too much, I'll try and talk sensibly. So what we've got here, we've got the plug at the top of the pedal and this has a push tab at the front or the bottom and a push tab at the top or the rear, whichever you want to call it. You squeeze both of them in and the plug will just come off. Here we go, there's the plug. So, tabs at the front and back and just squeeze them in and pulls right off. And then we have down here this little 10 mil nut, which we just need to undo. This is a nice, simple, easy job. Uh, there's nothing complicated, there's nothing daunting about it. So, for any amateur DIY kind of person, this should be a pretty simple kind of job. Now, the pedal should just pull off of that. It does hook in at the top behind a metal bracket, but you have to release it off of there first, and then it just pops out of the top. So you don't want to pull the pedal too hard because you've got this wire for the kick down switch that comes along here and plugs into the bottom of the pedal here. So just flip the pedal over once you've undone it and then unclip this wire and undo the clip. It's just a simple squeeze and pull kind of deal. And then, voila. Right guys, so now the pedal is out you will notice with pretty much all Mercedes pedals they are hinged from the floor which means the pivot point of the pedal is from the floor as opposed to the type that hang down and pivot from above so the way a 220 pedal works you have the hinged part of the pedal there pushes down and you have this sort of cantilever design here. Right here is the part in question at the moment. That is the potentiometer that reads the pedal travel. And right here is your kick down switch. So when your pedal mashes into that, that's what tells your transmission to kick down. So this only clicks on once this little plastic nubbin pushes this down enough to engage. Other than that, this switch does nothing. So this switch is purely only for kick down to my knowledge. So the part that goes wrong most of the time on these is pretty much this little potentiometer. Over time, the wear down, just like every electronic item, 
and it stops sending either a constant signal so it's constantly sending broken signals um, and the car doesn't know what to do often from what I've read as well people report that the car sticking fifth gear um, I'm not sure how true that is mine didn't mine stayed in the gear it should be in um, but it just wouldn't rev up or if I held the pedal down for a long period of time then it would rev up and so I've got a used one of these on the way yes you should replace it with new genuine but the quickest thing I could get was a used one for £30 and I want to shout out W220 spares on eBay um, they literally dispatched it within like an hour of me ordering it and it should be here today which is the next day so if you need any 220 spares check out W220 spares on eBay uh, I'll leave a link in the description as well to their shop I think they do more than 220s but the service they've given I really can't complain so once the new pedal's here hopefully in an hour or so it should be here and we can get that fitted and hopefully the car will work again right and just like that it's here so we'll get this unwrapped and we'll get started on actually fitting this pedal and touch wood this will cure my problem right guys so this is the new pedal uh, slightly different in very minor ways um, I think the kick down switch is slightly different but it should still work it's, it'll be the same pin out and it should be a plug and play thing to be honest I didn't actually look what 220 it was from I just grabbed one uh, in a rush so hopefully this will work uh, but we're about to find out right so refit is the reverse to removal um, on this one I've just had to change the kick down switch around to my old one because it came with this 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 one I'm not sure what that is it, it doesn't connect to anything so it's like a blank or something um, but yeah I've just swapped it around nice easy job it's just got two tabs on the side that squeeze in each side to pop the kick down switch out um, from what I can gather it looks all the same so I'm going to plug the kick down switch in first and wrap that wire around there I will plug it in as well just because why not come out there again and We'll centre that in the hole and push that down. Right, so when you remove it, don't lose this little washer because that sits down in there underneath that nut. So I'll just pop that on there, pop the nut in. That started. Now, to be fair, normally there is a bit of trim under here and you would have to remove it. But on this car, because I've had a few issues with it um, when I first got it, I never put the trim back in. Um, and it all clips on on here, so it would cover all this. So you will have to look up a video on how to remove all this trim up here. Um, because obviously I'm, I'm not going to fit it to remove it if I can avoid it 
Um, so that's the pedal in. I'm just gonna find a little cap that goes over the knot. Try and keep it all together and we'll give it a go. Let's see if this works. Right. So we've got the car running now. What's on the pedal? Let me just put some light down there. Nice and sharp. That's just how we like it. Nice plug and play simple job. Now, like every single one of my cars, this car does have a rough idle. Right guys, there you have it. A nice, quick, easy pedal swap job. So, it really is as easy as I said it was. It's five minutes. Took me a bit longer because of this. But yeah, as always guys, don't forget, like and subscribe and share, comment, it all helps. It all helps YouTube promote the channel. And the channel is growing quite well at the moment, so please, Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing. I'm out here to try and help you guys of the Mercedes community as much as I can, as well as do a few fun things along the way, like the M111 Turbo that we're going to have a third attempt at. At this time, we've got an MLS head gasket. And so stick around for that as well. And uh, yeah, Happy New Year to everyone because today's New Year's Eve. And uh, stay safe out there and enjoy the parties. See you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.